Welcome to 7.30 New South Wales, I'm Quentin Dempster. Online dating and the older woman. He was not only significantly older than I was expecting, but quite a bit shorter. And the O'Farrell government to establish a brothel licensing authority to counter the sex trafficking trade. Look, there certainly is a problem. Revelations of human trafficking and debt bondage of Asian women into the Australian sex trade, including through legal brothels in New South Wales, this week prompted the O'Farrell government into a plan of action. Tonight, the local government minister, Don Page, announces the state government will legislate to establish a brothel licensing authority to better regulate and coordinate the sex industry with state and federal police and immigration authorities. Significantly, the Minister acknowledges there is a problem with sex trafficking. And late today, Immigration Minister Chris Bowen announced a targeted audit of the student visa program. While local councils have carried the regulatory responsibility of approving DAs for legal brothels and closing down illegal ones, they do not conduct probity checks. To try to stop organised crime domestically and internationally from establishing a dominant influence in the industry, people with criminal records will be prohibited from owning or operating legal brothels. This move follows a Four Corners and Fairfax newspapers investigation into the sex trade. Investigative journalists have established through hidden cameras, victims, informants, lawyers, police and Taiwanese prosecutors the unpalatable fact there is a trade in sexual servitude operating in this country. In New South Wales, two legal brothels, one in Woolloomooloo and one in Artarman, were identified by witnesses as being involved in the movement of coerced sex workers. Such regular movement said to be tactically designed to stay one step ahead of the authorities. Taiwanese prosecutors identified one multinational network. Prostitution has always been a policy dilemma for Australian politicians, but there's been a cross-party consensus for well over a decade now to minimise the risk of police corruption, it is better to legalise brothels, know where they operate and run health programs for the sometimes drug-dependent sex workers. Keith Rhodes, president of the Local Government Association, says council powers are constrained to the planning laws only. Councils do not run probity checks on brothel applicants. Uh, we can only act again and pass on information uh, if community members come forward with that. But the predominant uh, agency uh, for our communities to report that to is their state or federal police. Illegal brothels, many operating through massage parlour fronts, advertise daily in the metropolitan and regional newspapers, often offering Asian ladies. State authorities don't know just how big a problem sex trafficking actually is. Look, there certainly is a problem, and uh, I was very concerned about what I saw on Four Corners the other night. Uh, when you're looking at sex slavery, uh, you're looking at students who are coming into the country who are being effectively kidnapped and put into brothels against their will. Uh, you're talking about immigration policy, you're talking about federal police, you're talking about state police. Local Government Minister Don Page watched Four Corners on Monday night and tonight announces the government's considered plan of action. We want to set up a brothel licensing authority uh, and a key role for that authority would be to vet very strongly the people who are operating legal brothels. Uh, we want to make sure that those people are people of good repute and they've been checked out. Uh, the other thing that we... No criminal record. No criminal record. Um, and also we... Uh, proposing to put in place um, licensing fees for legal brothels, uh, the proceeds of which would go to compliance, uh, particularly in relation to illegal brothels, because there are legal and illegal brothels, and uh, those that are legal have development consent subject to certain conditions. And we believe, because there's often complaints about uh, by from legal brothels against illegal brothels, that they'd be more than happy to pay a licence fee to ensure that Ill illegal uh, brothels are basically uh, taken away. You're not going into any moral panic over prostitution, are you? Uh, you uh, a pragmatist? Uh, this is... Uh, you're not going to try to uh, drive uh, brothels back <coughs> underground? No, to the contrary, actually. We want to 
have legal brothels, but we want them to be run properly. Uh, we want to get rid of illegal brothels. Uh, that's essentially what our, where we're coming from. Uh, but we recognise that uh, the issue is bigger than local government in New South Wales. Um, it, it involves uh, not only state government, but also federal government. So New South Wales is to have its first ever brothel licensing authority. Details, administration, regulations and enforcement powers are to be worked out by the Department of Premier and Cabinet, Health, Police and Local Government. Uh, I'm never one to, uh, to jump straight in and say yes, we would support it. It's a matter of looking at and seeing if, uh, if we can even make it better uh, with input from uh, the Local Government and Shires Association within New South Wales. If we can make that better and assist in that way, well, our door is always open. Fiona Patton of the Australian Sex Party says there are already 250 legal brothels in New South Wales with a guesstimated 10,000 sex workers. I think the New South Wales government needs to tread carefully here. I mean, New South Wales, the brothels and the sex industry here actually operate pretty well. You know, we have high levels of condom use, we have very low levels of, of, of issues, be it police issues or even planning issues. So we need to tread carefully. In Victoria and Queensland, the brothel licensing authorities have had limited success. In some ways, they've created the two-tier, two where you have a legal brothel and then you have a whole bunch of illegal brothels operating. In their investigation of the sex trade, the journalists found evidence of the fabrication of student visa applications by criminal networks exploiting the system. She was so-called one of the supplier of the women uh, to the broker in uh, or the bro brothel owner in Australia. So she hired a lawyer in China to help those women uh, pass the language test and then apply for a student visa. Look, I think it's uh, slightly strange that we can have a student who's got a visa that comes into Australia and gets kidnapped at the airport and put into sexual slavery and nobody bothers to check whether that student is going to university. So quite clearly, uh, the immigration arrangements that relate to students who are coming into Australia really aren't up to speed. Um, so I would ask the Minister of Immigration to focus on that so that, you know, when we have students who are coming in here to go to university, that someone does a check to make sure that they actually turn up at the university. And it can't be that difficult to do. Fiona Patton wants the Immigration Department to acknowledge sex work as a legitimate trade for work visas thus eliminating the criminal middleman fabricating international student visa applications. We are seeing visa fraud, which is putting the sex workers in this position of being exploited by middlemen. Now, if we were to enable sex workers to work here legally and enable them to get visas, we'd cut out the middleman and we would cut out that exploitation and we could ensure that those workers were working correctly within a visa. If they had work workplace issues, they could go to the authorities, which now they can't. You really think that Australian politicians would sign off on visa applications which said, I'm coming to Australia to be a sex worker? Look, and this is the problem, Quinton, we have a moralistic approach to sex work where we should be having a pragmatic one. It is work, it is legal in, in most states in Australia, and we should accept that fact. The same as we accept that we bring in priests from, from Africa or computer programmers from India. There is a role for sex workers to work here and to ensure their safety and to ensure that we get rid of exploitation, we need to be far more pragmatic about our visa system. We sought an interview with Immigration Minister Chris Bowen, but currently immersed in the asylum seeker debate, he was unavailable. In a statement late today, Mr Bowen announced he'd ordered a departmental analysis of all available evidence of fabrication of student visa applications. Any irregularities discovered would be referred to the Australian Federal Police for investigation. If irregularities were found to be systemic, further action would be taken. In a strategy to get a funding boost, an Alzheimer's Australia study has found the 